Welcome to Learn with Mnet. Love African folktales or AI storytelling? Today, I'll show you how to make your avatar talk, walk, and move using different animation styles. Let's dive in. First, I went to ChatGPT to generate my avatar. You can use any AI tool of your choice to create yours. This type of avatar is called a 3D Pixar style. Here's the image ChatGPT created for me. Now, because I didn't want my avatar to stick to just one style, I asked ChatGPT to give me five different animation styles. And trust me, this makes a big difference. From my experience, most AI animation tools only give you around six to eight seconds of animation per render. For example, the intro for this video is about 14 seconds long. If you try to sync a six second animated avatar, with a 14-second voiceover using a lip-sync tool, here's what happens. The AI will repeat the same animation style. The first six seconds will sync, then it starts looping, forward and backward, until it fills the entire audio length. I didn't want that kind of awkward repetition. It doesn't look good or natural. So I got creative and asked ChatGPT for five different animation prompts instead. Next, I went to Holio AI to animate the image using those prompts. I used my free coins to animate the avatar five different times. And here's the result. Eat Sen, the first anime lacks posture, smiles warmly, and gestures naturally. The second, she smiles and brushes a section of her curly wig. The third and fourth are right here. Isn't this amazing and stylish? So yes, Always make your avatar freestyle. Don't let it be boring or stiff. Now I don't want this video to be too long, so let me quickly tell you what I did next before adding lip sync. After animating, I took all five clips to an editing app. You can use CapCut, but I personally use Adobe Premiere Pro. I joined all the animations together, trimmed out parts I didn't need, and matched the total video length to my voiceover, making sure everything aligned. Once that was done, I went to Dreamface to add the lip sync. Now let's play the full video. See how the avatar now moves in different ways. It's smooth, it's stylish, and it doesn't repeat. As for the watermark, don't worry. I've already made a full video on how to remove it cleanly. And that's how you style, or better still freestyle, your talking avatar. If this helped, Give it a like and subscribe for more creative storytelling tips. See you in the next one.